Because you have these things, but when we talk about narration in terms of sculpture and this, mm. your sculpture, it's not like a story that can be drawn out, yeah. but it's so much of a creation of a certain experiential yeah. space you sure. might opening up. That's the kind of thing. And um, probably in many of these arts, in some mm. sense, there's this whole thing of both opening up in time as mm. well as a kind of simultaneity. Mm. I mean, it is present at one time mm. in one Mm. kind of a mm. configuration mm. and as well as mm. it's come some kind of opening up in your mind mm. maybe in mm. a kind of larger mm. sequence of time kind mm. of thing. So in some way I thought was the RAM a kind of way of bringing these two things? Mm. I mean uh, the physical time yeah. and the mm. kind of simultaneity mm -hmm. the, of the whole yeah. uh, vision yeah. together. I mean mm. I thought that was one thing that mm. probably the RAM was mm. uh, trying to do amongst other things. Yeah. I mean. Mm. I think uh, uh, the, uh, that the very idea of the RAM came to my mind was, you know, that in 2003 or yeah, 2004, yeah, yeah. after, um, uh, you know, this uh, idea of a monumental sculpture which was to be built for a corporate house. Yeah. I looked at the site and then what, it was a very ambitious project of making a huge RAM where mm -hmm. actual people could mm -hmm. walk. Mm -hmm. Uh, to the height mm. and the kind of because the ramp gives that kind of a gradual mm. growth yeah. mm. even with much no effort mm -hmm. you can be elevated to a different height yeah. elevated uh, space yeah. if I remember from I think what you told me at that time mm. you had planned a long long way I mean it yes. gradually moves up mm. and along the ramp actually people would walk yes. and then that's their relationship to these figures on pillars would change that's right I mean they would almost come to the same level yes. I mean kind of thing that yeah, was yeah. something that's that what was the idea because it was half a kilometer almost yeah. uh, that you know that you could really start from the ground yeah. And gradually, you don't realize that you are really being taken up. Yeah, yeah. And where you start, you would have this high rise mm -hmm. you know, yeah, or tall, tall pillars. pillars yes. On the top, there could be more like kind of demigods, also, yeah. kind of a yeah. characters. Mm -hmm. Where again, you know, these mm -hmm. Musis and Mayas mm -hmm. are choreographed and mm -hmm. being yeah, placed on the top that, of yeah. those pillars, which you don't see it when you are walking mm -hmm. on the ground because you don't really, you know, in the beginning, you don't take a, mm -hmm. a kind of a vertical yeah, look at. Yeah, yeah. So as you grow or, or, or come to a kind of a different height, yeah. then you might take a kind of a, a look at the back yeah, and yeah, then you yeah, could yeah, see yeah, that yeah, this again, yeah, yeah. you pass certain characters. Yeah. But they are, they are not, the, the direct details are not seen, yeah. the expression is not felt. Yeah. But then you really walk yeah. and walk yeah. to the kind of a place maybe at the end of yeah. and reaching at, on the crest of that probably yeah. would Mm. you know, confront with or having a direct mm. chat with, mm. yeah. you know, these pieces because they, the pillars are becoming smaller mm. because the ramp height at the end, mm. if it was say around say 20 feet yeah, yeah. and mm. where the pillars all the beginning also. So it's really, yeah, yeah. they are the, the, these, these, you know, these mm. characters mm. are with the same expressions and the Mayas and Musuis, yeah, yeah, yeah. they are coming to a contact with the eye level of yeah. the person who are reaching mm. up. Mm. That was the basic idea and then there is mm. something beyond. And what is there beyond is like kind of, mm. you felt, oh, I have attained, I have come close to, mm -hmm. but I could never mm -hmm. when I started. So this is the idea which was mm. not worked out mm. in terms of in material, it was never mm -hmm. happened. So I thought, well, I will start yeah. working on, I will, I will make this yeah. small, you know, a it foot. Kind of condense the Yeah, condense the whole thing into yeah. making a small, yeah. Uh, figures, they may be a, uh, yeah. uh, about 12 inches, some of so those in figures. In a sense, it's a uh, conceptualized ah, version. Yeah. That was the whole <laughs> yeah. thing, you know, like kind of you have a, yeah. uh, a 16 feet. It, yeah. It's a basically yeah. almost like a maquette. But, yeah. but then in the beginning when I made, I didn't have the idea of, I mean, I didn't want to. I was just waiting for the right time because mm. I wanted mm. much larger, mm. even in bronze. But to start with, I really created one figure, mm. probably in the middle of this people on the move mm -hmm. that would really be larger than life mm -hmm. and then also symbolizing a kind of a, a, mm -hmm. a, a perfect human being mm -hmm. you know and also this kind of there's a movement mm -hmm. among the 
among the people that yeah. that the mm. movement is not I'm, I don't mean just always physically you know mm. sort of the mm. kind of movement that they would really want mm. themselves to be mm. uh, to reaching to that kind of a state of being mm -hmm. of mm. a perfect human could also be mm. one from the very common mm -hmm. so mm. with that idea I started working with you know and it's very yeah, it's a very uh, accepted mm. and uh, and proved to be a kind of a, attaining a sainthood. Yeah. So, so I was trying yeah, to place uh, Ram Krishna and uh, yeah, the, the, the counterpart yeah, Maya. Yeah. So these two pieces, yeah. uh, I was well, I placed them just a post yeah. in in a kind of a space was yeah. very introspecting. I felt for the viewers and even when I when I was working also, I I really felt certain kind of, uh, um, you know, uh, reaching to a different quality of space, yeah, space you know, yeah. by working on it yeah, itself. Yeah. So I wanted to share mm -hmm. in a kind of a, a, a given enclosed space. So the, most of the sculptures were more more an indoor space. Yeah, that's Because right. I really, all, I, I think... Yeah, that's what's happened, I mean, yeah. Yeah, in, yeah. yeah, for the reason that it's, uh, you know, because the kind of thing that it is meant to evoke, yeah. can never it can be interfered in an open space with yeah. many other things happening around because yeah. it's it's there is a, there is a stillness and there is a lot of movement yeah so i think that stillness yeah. can be felt more in indoor yeah uh, and uh, because i was just opposing because i worked on this movement and i wanted uh, a movement from the stillness also yeah.